YouTube, but we are back at it with another MX Bikes video. Today's video is going to be about the update that just occurred to the OEMs. This one is 18.1C patch number two. It just dropped on May 25th. So when you guys are watching this video, it came out yesterday. Um, we talked about it a little bit in yesterday's video that L21 actually dropped like a spoiler about it. And what do you know, it came out the same day. So uh, without further ado, let's jump right into the change log and see what kind of the update that they did. Okay, we are on Project OEM website. Uh, this is basically where they put all the patch notes, basically. Uh, they go over a bunch of different things, talking about like the team and how they actually change the team around to actually kind of like do like departments within it, everybody. Uh, so that's kind of interesting to read about. Uh, however, we'll go back down to the change log and kind of just discuss uh, what actually occurred in this update. So, all right, so there were some physics updates to 27 bikes for better pack balancing, minor fixes to six more bikes, new suspension suspension valves, new camera position, much more similar from bike to bike. That's pretty good. I know a lot of people didn't like the KTMs, so that's pretty good. New gearing options, 11, 16 front, 47, uh, 54 rear on all bikes. That's pretty good. KTM Husqvarna quick shifter that will help with the Huskies a lot. Minor dyno changes to have more accurate valves. The TM two-stroke engine fix, model-related bug fix, bug fixes, and I'm having a really hard time speaking tonight. Uh, conflicted scoreboard color fix. I didn't know that was a thing, but that's cool that they fixed that. They also have some known issues like model swaps for the KTM 250, Husky 250, as well as a KX will be broken until Frankie and Phantoms announce that they have been updated or I guess re-uploaded. Um, I don't really rock those bikes, so I don't know if anybody's had troubles with that. So let me know in the comments below. But yeah, like they said, as you can see, uh, we have put a lot of effort into the physics the main focus points of this patch being the bike suspension the tm bike blowing up as well as the geometry balancing i think that's going to really really help every single bike alongside this the patch also sets a milestone for our revamp model movement so the honda will be the first of its kind with our all new high level shader maps uh, the crfs have now been imported in 4k damn so even your current custom paints will benefit from the revamp maps That'd be very, very sick because we are rocking Honda 250s. Well, currently we're rocking Honda 250s without really testing the bikes. So that's going to be freaking sick. Um, and they say the primary focus for this patch is to balance the entire fleet of bikes that we currently have released, ultimately hoping that this will lead into more diverse and competitive starting grid, which we definitely need. We definitely need a new meta. It's been Yamaha's constantly and Honda's, so that's going to be good. Our goal is to provide you with a level playing field where each bike has its unique strength and weaknesses, allowing for thrilling races, which showcase different racing styles and strategies. That goes kind of with the diverse starting grid. As always, we value your feedback and we'll continuously work into improve your OM or MX OEM experience. Uh, I think they, I haven't really dove into the bikes yet, honestly, but with this, just like what, what they're saying and everything and from the feedback I've hearing from a couple different people that this update's really, really good. Like really, really good. So, and so what I'm going to actually do now in the video is I'm going to jump into my discord with everybody. They've been playing it all day long. So they're going to have better feedback than I do currently because I haven't really touched these bikes. So without further ado, let's hear what they have to say. Uh, but Mix, what do you think? What do you think about the OEM update since you've been playing it kind of like for the past couple it's hours? A dub. It's a dub. Yep. Everything's more balanced now. Everything's viable. Kind, not everything, but most bikes are viable. For 250s at least, I haven't ridden the 450s. What is your favorite bike uh, from the 250s that you tried so far? Husky. The Husky is? Do yep. they have the quick shift on the 250s? I think so, but I haven't been using it. Yeah, okay. Um, so the Husky is your best one, and you've tried them all, you said? No. I haven't tried the Gas Gas, but Jordo was on it for like five minutes and then switched, so. Okay, well, that's, yeah, we don't, no, that doesn't work for us. Um, okay, so what makes the Husky better than the Honda? Um, it's new. It's new. You can actually <laughs> use it now. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great answer, great answer. It, like, it just feels like a normal bike, I guess. I don't know, there's nothing special about it. Okay, um, anybody else have tried the 250s or 450s? <clears throat> I've tried one 450. 1450. Other than Yamaha. What was that? Which bike? The Honda. The Honda? Did, riding it. did you like it a lot? Um, I wouldn't say a lot, but it's definitely better than before. 
Okay. Okay. Um, I know that... So I hopped into the Discord call with you guys uh, earlier today when it dropped. And I was talking to Dylan. And he's saying that the Yamaha, the 450 Yamaha, just has better control. Um, like stability control. And he kind of put like a, a description of it where like if you're riding in real life, it used to have like no stability between like your legs. So like you're gripping the bike per se. It used to have like no no stability. And now with the update, there's a lot more stability. Feels like you're gripping the bike a lot, lot better. And I don't know if anybody else has like noticed that. Um, I'm taking his word because he's gosh damn fast. But ri riding it just a little bit right now on Ironman, it feels good. But obviously we're still have to put some hours into it. Larson said the rear end of the Yami is unmatched. Feels unmatched. Yeah. Compared to the Honda, I haven't rode the Yamaha uh, this since the update, but the back end on the Honda always been bad, but it's a little better. Unmatched in the sense of like, good, right? It's better than everything. Yeah, that's what that's what Dylan said too. He said the best, the, the YZ feels like the best. But then again, he didn't really like probably try too many bikes. Yeah, he didn't try any bikes besides the Yamaha. Yeah, I know. I was watching Skills a little bit, and he jumped onto the KTM a tiny, tiny bit, but then. Couldn't really give feedback about it because of he wanted to ride the Yamaha because of his graphics. So I couldn't really get any feedback from him. But I did see that he said that the camera change on the KTMs are a lot, lot better. Or I guess the KTM is a lot better. Yeah, and the Husky. And the Husky. That's what I'm I'm really afraid of. Of like, <laughs> My bad, Jordan. I'm really afraid of trying a different bike one day prior to the race when I've been on the Yamaha all week. You know what I'm saying? instead of just like racing the Yamaha and then jumping into like a different bike on, on Saturday. Yeah. I don't know if, if anybody in the chat also thinks that way, but, oh crap, I suck. That's how Cam feels. Yeah, I just feel like, I think it would just be better. Like r truthfully, I feel like going to a different bike, not knowing how it's going to react and only having one day of practice on it is gonna be bad compared to just staying with what you know and then changing for a whole week prepping for a whole week on a different bike. Larson said he tried the Suzuki and he wanted it to work, but wasn't seeing it. Yeah. And I think that gives us an opportunity, like, cause we made those videos to go like actually try different bikes. But I'd, I still don't think like what Larson's saying, if the Yamaha is like unmatched stability wise, why would we change, you know? Unless like yeah. down the road, obviously people are gonna find some really good suspension settings for each bike. And it's going to make a lot of difference, but I saw that um, Jordan was playing with the Suzuki. Probably won't talk too much about it, but it looked pretty good when he was riding it. Even though Lars is saying it's not it, but it looked it looked better, but it not probably not fast enough. It feels good. Like the suspension feels really good, but it's a little slow. That's yeah. It looks slow. Look like. From the footage I was watching on the Discord stream, it just basically looked like Nub was catching you everywhere. And then you would have more stability in like certain areas, but in straightaways, you would just get caught. You know what's really crazy is Nub is slow now. <laughs> I don't know about slow, <laughs> I but... I beat him. I beat him. Nub, you got beat by <laughs> freaking Mix. Well, actually, oh my Nub god. I beat him because Larson and I kept taking each other out, but I was catching him. That's funny. Um, But... But yeah, well, I'm excited to try out the bikes. I don't, I'll probably just stick with the YZ tonight, honestly, and tomorrow for the races. But um, I'm like, super excited to see what we can do with different bikes later on. I think the Kawas has anybody tried the Kawasaki? Like in yeah, the chat or anybody? Yeah, it doesn't turn very well. Oh, rip. The 250 at least. Well, hopefully, like, you're going to probably see a lot of different 250 bikes. Obviously, with the Honda still being probably oh, yeah. pretty good, but the KTM being able to... Uh, quick husky shift. Husky feels really good. And the Husky being better, I think you're going to see a lot of variety on the starting grid tomorrow. For Especially, I think, in NA. Maybe not EU as much. I think people would probably test in EU and then, like, practice all day on the track with it. But NA, I think you'll see a lot of different variety. At least for the 250 class. So, yeah. So, that, that was basically Mix, Jordan, and Davey talking in the Discord stream. Uh, giving me their feedback on different bikes. Uh, big shout out to Larson too and Mix's chat. And big shout out to uh, Dylan who was playing earlier and gave me some feedback. Um, I'm super excited to test out which bikes are going to be good. I still think 
what they were saying with the YZ450 still being unmatched in the back end, I think it'd still be a YZ meta for 450. But 250 sounds... 250 sounds better. It sounds like more bikes are viable. Like the Husky, KTM, Honda, YZ, I heard is really, really good. So uh, I'm super excited to see everybody try different bikes, especially in the races. Um, and then later on this week, you might see videos of me on different bikes to see what we like going into the second week of outdoors. So, but let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the update. Do you guys think the bikes are going to be good? Do you think, uh, which, which bike do you think is going to be the greatest? Like, do you think the, the Husky 250 is going to be good? Do you think the KTM 250 is going to be good? Uh, what 450? So just let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of us just talking about it. Um, we'll put some more effort into getting some more videos on different bikes later next week week and just kind of go from there but i appreciate you guys for real make sure you guys stay tuned for the video on saturday i'm gonna push the super pole video back to saturday since this video is kind of important for the update but um but yeah so i appreciate you guys for real thank you guys so so much and we'll catch you guys back here in the next video much love i'm out peace